time to honor him. Let's take this time to praise him. I know that sometimes it can be difficult to lift up your your voice to praise God when you have turmoil and confusion in your life. But that is the best time to praise him. The Bible says the crucible is for silver and the furnace is for God. But a man will be tested by his praise. Think of the the, the thief on the cross who was able to say to Jesus, remember me when you come into the kingdom. In other words, Jesus, even though we are being crucified, there is still a kingdom. Even though we are on the cross, you are still the king. Even though we are bearing shame, there is a paradise after this. Even though we are going through heart, there will still be jubilation. That thief decided to concentrate on the glorious future with Christ. You can do the same tonight. Father, we glorify you tonight. We lift our heads above every situation. We lift our heads above Above every worry, we lift our heads above every shame. We lift our heads above every confusion. We say, Remember us, Lord. Because despite our situation, you are still the king. Despite our situation, there is still a kingdom. Despite our situation, there is joy ahead. Despite our pain, there is celebration after this. Despite our confusion, you are still Jesus. Despite the tears, we are still with you. The thief realized one thing, that even though he was shamed, even though he was confused, even though he had been put down, he was not alone on this cross. He was with Jesus Christ. I want you to know that you are not alone on this cross. And that is why he says, carry your cross and follow me. You are not alone on this cross. And that is why the thief looked beside him and he saw Jesus. If you are going through a tough situation tonight, look beside you. You are not alone in this shame. You are not alone in this heart. You are not alone in this confusion. You are not alone in this co- this this dilemma. You are not alone with this predicament. Just lift up your voice tonight. You can praise him. If that thief could praise him, you can praise him too. If that thief could call him a king, you can still call him a king. When the world has turned against you, when they are calling you thief, when they are calling you murderer, when they are calling you robber, and Jesus is right there beside you, taking every step with you, you can only praise him. You can only say you are a king. You can only say you have a kingdom. You can only say I'm carrying this clothes to follow you. 
Lift up your voice tonight. He is worthy of the glory. He is worthy of the honor. Israel is about to go to war. And they are going through a tough situation. Their leader Joshua has just died. He has just gone to be with the Lord. And they don't have anyone to lead them in battle. And they ask God who will go before us. We have an enemy. We have a threat. We have something that is facing us. And God says to them, send Judah first. Judah is praised. When you are going through a situation with an enemy you don't know how, how to contend with. With a foe that is more complicated than you think. Send Judah first. Send praise first. Come on somebody tonight, lift up your voice. And send praise. Lift up your voice. And send honor. Lift up your voice. And send glory. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He is still Lord. Even on the, in the grave. He is Lord. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. The, 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 the attempts of Satan have never undermined the kingship of our Lord. They have never undermined the kingship of our Savior. You are still King, Lord. Remember us. You are still King, Lord. Remember us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. I want to welcome all of you to today's Sunday service. You are all highly welcome. Welcome to the Miracle Center Cathedral where we minister love in a hurting world. We are blessed and honored to be able to come to your houses tonight. We know that it's going to be a power-packed service. The Spirit of the Lord is already in the house because we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. And remember where two or more are gathered, he is already in our midst. Remember the anointing is multiplied by a pouring out. It is time to call upon someone to pray with you. It is time to call upon someone to believe God with you. It is time to call upon someone to intercede with you. As you borrow these vessels and as you call them together, as you pour oil into them, there is an overflow, there is a sustainable coming to your very oil when the widow borrowed vessels and began to pour out there was an increment in the oil in her house and when she stopped pouring out the oil stopped so don't be selfish with the anointing tonight call somebody tell them it's time to pray. It's time to get into the word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. We give you all the glory. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all praise. I have been duly informed that the Jessica Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. The Robert Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. And the Jessica Kayanja YouTube can be accessed. As well. We are on Zuku as TV. 
are on Azam TV. We are on DSTV. DSTV We are on Free to Air. Ne free to Air We are on Star Times. Ne Star Times So feel free. Everywhere, anywhere you are around the world. To be able to trust us on any of these places. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to thank God again for such a time as this. Father, one more time, I lift up my voice. As a vessel so willing to be used of you. I pray that if there be anything in me that is more of me, Lord, than is of you, that I will decrease even as you increase in me. I pray that your word tonight will come forth as the sword that it is to separate us from the spirit of stalling and, and, and being slow that you will create a quickening in our mortal bodies that there will be a hastening in the spiritual realm that the glory of God will be made manifest in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Father. We glorify you for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to make recourse for our, to our theme scripture this season. We started with the glory. And Zachariah chapter 2 verse 5. Zakaria Bidi Oroktano says Agamba I will surround her Namwe Tolora with a wall of fire. Nature Senge Chomorido and I will be the glory in our midst. Masekatige and on Friday Kuroktano we saw that fire has never been stationary. And if it is stationary, then it is not fire. But there is another aspect about the moving of the fire that we need to look at and that we tapped into briefly when we were reading our scriptures on Friday. I gave the example of fire being able to move faster than, than a human sprinter. And I put it in a numerical Form. And I said that fire, if not given the, the necessary conducive atmosphere, may move, may move from between 20 to 60 kilometers per, per hour. Uh, Wakati wa kilomita abidi ne kaga Amen. Musawim. Amen. But if it is given the right conducive the, um, the environment, which is a sloppy surface, and 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 uh, and, and wind, fire. Omolido can move even up to 80 kilometers an hour. Fire is fast. Fire is speedy. Fire may not be beaten. 
by a human run because fire spreads fast and the reason why so many prospects in life are destroyed is not because they are unclear. It's not because they have not been designed the right way. It's not because they are not worthwhile. It is usually because of delay. There are many marriages that are delayed. And hence relationship breakup. If you are engaged for years, you would not want to be in that relationship. There are many people who will miss job opportunities because they were, there was a delay in making an application another people walked into that opportunity and our God has never been a God of delay Paul has a glimpse in of the final hour in the book of Corinthians and he says we will be caught up in the twinkling of an eye we will be caught up in the twinkling of an eye. The Bible says the twinkling of an eye means very fast. So speedily that you will not be able to realize that you even twinkled your eye. That you will not be able to realize that it has happened until after it has happened. The Bible says God is not slow to fulfill his promise. And therefore we have seen that the manner of God has never been to slow down. The manner of God is not in the tiring. The manner of God is in seasons and in times. The manner of God is in efficiency. The manner of God is in hastening. In Romans chapter 9 verse 28 he says he will finish the work. I want to read it as the main script tonight. For the Lord will carry out his sentence upon the earth fully and without delay. And the King James Version says, for he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. Because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. He will finish the work and cut it short. And a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And tonight I want to encourage encourage everyone who seems to be involved in something that is tiring is, is tiring it's is, 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 is slowing yes chisoba you are involved in something that is tiring. You began building a house and all of a sudden it is tiring. You are engaged to someone but the marriage ceremony is tiring. You are in line up for new employment but it is your employment is tiring and you are being told to wait and wait and wait. I want to encourage you tonight that the Lord will carry out his sentence 
with speed the Lord will carry out his sentence he will finish his work and he will cut it short and tonight we decree and declare an acceleration we decree and declare a speeding up we decree and declare a cutting short of the years that you have waited he says that he will finish his work and he will cut it short may God cut short the time that the devil is trying to waste may God cut short the time that you are waiting may God cut short the time that you have to build may God cut short the time that you have to get that citizenship may God cut short the time that you need to get that employment because it is not enough just to get it it is wonderful to get it in time in the mighty name of Jesus he says for he will finish the work and he will cut it short sometimes people think that if something is to be finished you need to put a lot of time in it but tonight I want to preach to you about divine speed the speed of the power of God the speed of the spirit of God the speed of the Holy Spirit there is such a thing as supernatural speed the Bible says that the time is coming when the plowman will overtake the reaper in other words you will still be plowing and then you will be reaping even before the people who started plowing before you there will be no difference between you and them they went ahead but you were catching up the plowman will overtake the reaper according to Amos chapter 9 verse 13 the reaper is a man who has already plowed but Amos chapter 9 verse 13 says that the plowman overtakes the one who plowed a long time ago and is about to reap because the Lord is cutting short the time all of a sudden you are catching up with the people who went ahead of you that is the system of fire fire will move at a speed, a speed that is faster than the fastest fastest run fire given the right condition is speedy is fast I want you to know that he is about to cut short the work according to Romans chapter 9 verse 38 he will cut short that work in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Amen. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, But if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell then, dwell, dwelleth in you, then he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. There is a spirit 
that raised Jesus from the dead. And if that spirit is in you, then it is the same spirit that will quicken your mortal bodies. And that is why I speak a quickening to every mortal body, every body that is weak, every body that is procrastinating, everybody that is moving slow. I speak a quickening right now. It is demonic to store, to store, to store, our God is a God of speed. But Romans 8, 11 says, if the spirit is in you, if that fire is in you, if that fire is with you, then that same Holy Spirit fire will quicken your mortal bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is why even though our bodies are physical, the plowman can still overtake the the, the, the reaper because there is a supernatural quickening in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go into the sermon tonight. Genesis chapter 24, verse 12. Eliezer has been commissioned by his boss, Abraham, to go find for his son a wife. And Abraham does not give him a time frame. Abraham does not say, come back in the next one week. Abraham does not say, come back in the next three weeks. Abraham does not say come back in the next few months. Abraham just commissions him. But like all spirit filled people, Eliezer knows that his master serves a God of speed. And he says in Genesis chapter 24 verse 12, O Lord God of my master Abraham, he prayed Please grant me good speed. Oh, Lord God of my master Abraham, please grant me good speed. In other words, it is not enough just for me to get you a wife, but I need to bring her while my master is still alive. He is an old man right now. He might even die before I get back. Because when he had this Isaac, he was already old. But grant me good speed so that I can achieve in the right time. Grant me good speed so that I can achieve it in a time when I can still enjoy it. Grant me good speed so that I can achieve it in a time when it can be celebrated. Grant me good speed so that I don't have to spend the rest of my life away from my homeland looking for a wife for Isaac. Grant me good speed so that I can have it when I am still young so that I can have it when I can still look good so that I can have it when I can still testify about it's not just about getting Abraham this girl 
it is about getting this girl in good time I came to encourage you tonight may God grant you good speed to enjoy that marriage when you are still beautiful when you are still young when you can still look nice in that gown may God grant you good speed to live in your own house when you can still enjoy when you can still wake up when people are not looking at it in anticipation and wondering when you are living may God grant you good speed so that you can get it not just get it but get it in good time Abra Eliezer showed God that it was not just about getting it it was about getting it in the right time it was about getting it quickly it was about getting it in speed it was about getting it when the people who wanted it were still around may God grant you good speed tonight so that your parents will see you rejoicing may God grant you good speed tonight so that those who laughed may be around to see your testimony may God grant you good speed so that those who did not believe in your God will be around to see his oracles fulfilled in you it is not enough just to get it you need to get it in time may the fire of God go ahead of you and may there be increased speed upon that fire oh the fire of God is speeding up ahead of you the Bible says in Isaiah that they who wait upon the Lord he will renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not grow weary oh come on somebody you are mounting up with wings as eagles today the fire moves at a flying speed the fire moves at a flying speed that is why when someone is caught in the fire in the developed world the rescuers will have helicopters because the fire will move at a flying speed but the Bible says they that wait upon the Lord he will renew their strength they will mount up with wings oh come on somebody you are flying tonight you are moving at top speed the fastest means of travel is the aeroplane I decree and declare a flying you are mounting up there are wings on you you are flying above the obstacles everything that has slowed you everything that has halted you everything that has stood in your way you are flying above it because they that wait upon the Lord they will mount up with wings as eagles Isaiah 40 verse 31 you are flying tonight in the mighty name of Jesus you are flying tonight in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says they shall run and not grow weary you are not going to crawl you are going 
going to run. There is a spirit that dwelleth in you that is quickening your mortal body. You are rising up. You are running. You are not stalling. The Bible does not say they will stall. The Bible does not say they will crawl. The Bible does not say they will be slow. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says they will run. Hallelujah. I decree and declare a running in your business tonight. A running in your marriage tonight. A running in your health tonight. A running in everything you owe tonight. I decree and declare it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. May there be a running. May there be a running. May there be a running in the name of Jesus. All you are mounting up with wings as eagles. The spirit of God according to Romans chapter 8 verse 11 quick, quickens your mortal body. Quickens your mortal body. You have tried so hard with that business but it is slowing. It will come to a fruition. You will mount up with wings as eagles. You will run in the name of Jesus and you will not grow well. You have tried so hard with that house. It looks like it was running in the beginning but it stowed somewhere. May there be a quickening in your mortal body. May there be a quickening in your mortal body in the name of Jesus. The Lord God is cutting short the work. He's cutting short the work in the name of Jesus. The Lord God has the ability to cut short that work in the mighty name of Jesus. They may tell you that it took us 20 years. It took us 40 years. It took us 50 years. But they didn't have the spirit of God. You are living in the dispensation of the spirit that quickeneth mortal bodies. He says in the final days, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That is the time that you are living in. You are living in the time of the quickening of your mortal bodies. You will not slow down. There is a quickening in your anointing. There is a quickening in revelation. There is a quickening in your ministry. There is a quickening. Every mortal body Body is being quickened right now in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God grant you good speed. May the Lord God grant you good speed right now. I decree and declare it for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant them good speed. Grant them good speed with their marriages. Grant them good speed. Those that are still in school, being educated, I decree and declare for my siblings. Grant them good speed for their families. I decree and declare for this ministry. Grant us good speed in the name of Jesus. May there be a quickening of mortal bodies in our lives in the name of Jesus. 
we come against the spirit of stalling we are filled with a spirit that quickens mortal bodies in the mighty name of Jesus a spirit that quickens mortal bodies the work is being cut short in our lives the work is being cut short in the mighty name of Jesus we will no longer take yards to see our fulfillment to see our joy to see completion there is a speeding up as long as the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you then he that raised him from the dead will quicken your mortal bodies come on someone pray in Romans chapter 8 verse 11 decree and declare a quickening tonight every spirit that has caused you to stall that has caused you to crow that has caused you to move slowly we decree and declare right now the spirit that quickens your mortal body the spirit that quickens your mortal body in the mighty name of Jesus Eliezer knew the God of his master was not a God of stalling he was not a God of being slow our God has never been slow to fulfill his promise that is his word receive it for yourself tonight take it for yourself tonight begin to declare it everything in your life that is moving slowly come on someone amen get into it begin to pray right now may the Lord dress you may the Lord fill you with the spirit that quickens mortal bodies may he cut short the work for you they are things that you have been looking at achieving seven years from now ten years from now if the plowman can overtake the reaper then you too can achieve those things in less than half the time if the plowman can overtake the reaper then you too can achieve those things I decree and declare an anointing of speed in the name of Jesus there are those who didn't know that speed was anointing there are those who didn't know that speed was spiritual but Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says but, the, but, the, but if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwelleth in you then he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you it is an anointing and that is why the Bible says that the spirit of God came upon Elijah and he ran and he overtook the chariots of Ahab Ahab was a king Ahab, Ahab represents institutions Ahab represents authorities Ahab represents entities Elijah was just a man but he was spirit filled and when the spirit of the Lord fell upon him he was able to run and overtake institutions he was able to run and overtake chariots he was able to run and overtake powers oh I decree and declare tonight a running you are just a simple man but you will run because there is a quickening in your mortal body 
you will run so fast that you will overtake institutions. You will overtake businesses that existed before you. You will overtake companies that have been here since the time of your great grandparents. You will overtake when the power of God fell upon Elijah. He began to overtake you didn't know that the speed that an anointing was a speed tonight may that revelation come upon you speak the anointing of speed upon your life upon your health upon your children in the mighty name of Jesus you cannot be stalling year after year you can never be behind the crowds all the time decree and declare it tonight in the name of Jesus there is a speeding up the anointing is a sp the sp the the, the the, the supernatural speed is an anointing. And I have seen it personally. I know that you can achieve it. Because it is not a physical thing. It is not about the, ma the, the strong. It is not about the powerful. Oh, the Bible says the rest is not to the swift. Oh, come on somebody. It is not, the rest is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. The food is not to the wise. Come on somebody. Wealth not to the brilliant. I want you to know that time and chance happeneth to everyone. And this is our time. A time of the Holy Spirit when the anointing of acceleration, the anointing of speed will come upon you. Elijah was despised by the king and his wife, but he was able to run ahead of those people who looked like they would always be above him. Come on, someone. Amen. the time has come for you to run ahead of the people that you saw we are, we, we are miles ahead of you Elijah overtook the chariots of Ahab there is an overtaking tonight there is an overtaking tonight in the mighty name of Jesus the spirit that quickeneth more of bodies has come upon you and you will overtake when David had his camp attacked by the enemy and he found that his wife the, 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 the wives of the people in the camp had disappeared and their children he asked God what do I do should I pursue or not and God said to him pursue overtake and recover all. I want you to know that every the, all the years that the locusts and the canker worms tore, when the anointing of speed comes upon you, you will not regret those years. You will look at your wedding and it will be better than those who went ahead of you. You will look at that house that you built and it will be so much better much more comfortable than those who rushed ahead of you oh come on somebody the years are going to be replaced I want to prove to you what my God can do Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 verse 13 Verse 12 to 13 says, Sun stand still over Gibeon, and you moon over the valley 
of Ajon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the nation avenged itself of its enemies. Isn't that amazing? Let me show you how my God of speed operates. He does not want his anointing to be behind the time. He doesn't want his anointed people, his spirit filled people to be caught behind the time. So what does he do? He causes the time to stand still. <laughs> he causes the time to stand still so that Joshua will fight his enemy and win and Joshua has not lost any time. If anything, he has gained more time. So what God did was that he caused the sun to stand still and he caused the moon to stand still and he erased the whole day. He said, Joshua, you can fight but you are not fighting within the time zone. Oh, Rakasan, you are not fighting between the time zone. There is no time. You are in a time free zone now. Continue fighting but you are in a time free zone. After you become victorious, I will return the time. So God erases a whole day from the time, from the, ca from the calendar of history. And it can be proved even today that a whole day was erased because Joshua was still fighting. If it means erasing a year, God is going to erase a year so that you overtake some chariots. If it means erasing three years, God will erase three years so that you can overtake, so that you can deal with some enemies, so that you can build, so that you can marry, and so that you are not doing it behind the time. He stopped the years for Joshua. Sometimes I look at myself and I am thinking surely God you have cut short the time you have erased some years because you are looking at yourself and you don't even know how you got here you are thinking that it is in the twinkling of the eye how did I get there I don't even remember how I got there but God stopped the time he held the sun in his hand and he held the moon in his hands and said Joshua fight tonight God is holding a moon tonight God is holding someone's son and he's saying Akia Dorothy you can build and he's saying Gloria Vasiva you can start this business I am holding the moon I am holding the sun until you get married. He's holding it tonight. And he's saying, Flavia Knight, I'm holding it until you have achieved your dream. That is how the Lord's speed works. Oh, I'm holding it until you can overtake. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Harriet Babidie, until you can move ahead. Oh, come on, someone. I'm holding it. Oh, I decree and declare the spirit that quickens in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you good speed. Constance Corny. May the sun be held for your sake. May the moon be held for your sake so that you will go up without wasting time, without growing old. I decree and declare it tonight. May the moon be held for you. May the sun be held for you. Juliet Mutoro. So that everything begins to work for you. 
and no time is spent and you will not even grow old you will look at yourself and you will say how did I get there but the moon was held and the sun was held and while other people were moving in a time zone you were moving in a time free zone where there is no aging where there is no wasting time where your years are not running oh come on somebody decree and declare it if God can wipe out a day from history just to entertain Joshua so that Joshua could deal with something God can wipe out two years just for you the other people will remain in the time zone but you will be flying do you know that when you fly there is a tendency to drop time do you know that when you are on the air in the air there is a tendency to operate in a different time zone this is getting deeper but they that are led by the spirit are the children of God tonight I decree and declare I'm moving fast in the name of Jesus tonight I decree and declare a holding of time zones you will wake up and say how did this marriage happen so fast how did this how did I this house how was this house built so fast how was this ministry built so fast the spirit that quickens mortal bodies is quickening you tonight may the sun be held may the moon be held so that you can move on and catch up every year that the locusts and the cankerworm store is being returned to you in the mighty name of Jesus thank you master thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you Lord Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As the psalmist come on tonight, let's continue to decree and declare Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwelleth in you. Then he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. May God grant you good speed like he did Eliezer. Do you know Eliezer had just prayed and then he saw Rebecca may it be the same way for you. I am sure that there must have been a standing still of time so that he could see Rebecca so fast. May it happen for you as soon as we pray for good speed may God grant us the speed that we need. May he finish the work and cut it short according to Romans chapter 9 verse 28. He will cut it short. All those years they have told you that you have to wait. Pray that the Lord cuts them short in the name of Jesus. I would like Brother Dennis to sing that song. I cannot tire of that song. 
because it is a, a song with very strong spiritual ramifications for people that are spiritual. Amen. As he sings about the wall of fire. Re get the revelation that the fire is moving at top speed. At the speed of a jet. And you are mounting up with wings as it is. And you are running. And you are not wearing. And begin to pray. As you worship. Pray and declare good speed. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.